Hi there. At Excel require their AS macro students to make a distinction between unemployment and underemployment. So let's have a look at that. Underemployment in the economy happens when people are counted as being in work, but they're looking for an additional extra job or actively searching for a new job with longer hours to replace the job that they have at the moment. They want to work longer hours in their current job. Now, the key thing is this. Underemployment in the economy can be growing, can be rising, even if unemployment is falling. Look at the data for the UK. There was a significant rise in underemployment, estimated underemployment, from 2008 when the recession happened through to 2012. Underemployment rose by nearly, oh, well, over a million people, to over three million people. This, of course, is an estimate. Now, since then, underemployment has fallen. It's now just over 2.9 million as of 2015, but that's significantly above where it was a few years back. And it has stayed high despite the fact that unemployment has fallen from 8% down to about 5% of the labour force. So if you get a question on unemployment, keep in mind that according to current estimates, there's nearly 3 million people in the UK who are categorised as underemployed.